Hello, my dear humans. You are in the process of listening to me. That can basically mean only one thing. You have survived the first season and, what's actually is even more important, you have dared to start the new one. Probably you're excited to hear the main topic of the season. There is no secret about it. We'll speak about the sentence segmentation here. And today we have to have our introduction video where we will discover how sentence segmentation actually works. I just want to remind you that we have ended our previous season with the knowledge that allows us to extract technical characters that are used for the text segmentation from the list of tokens. And basically I'm speaking about characters like period, um, parentheses, uh, brackets, exclamation mark, quotas, uh, columns, semicolon, or even emoji if they're used uh, as sentence pleaders. However, it's actually not enough to successfully perform the segmentation itself. Notice how some of the characters are used to segment text onto the sentences themselves, and others are used to segment sentence inside. For example, let's have a look onto the sentence that I have said during the introduction today. Basically, here are the sentence. By just observing these two sentences, you can already see that we have the following two characters that are used to split text into two sentences. It's basically dot and uh, these two guys. And other two characters that splits uh, those sentences into subparts, uh, subsentences if you will, like uh, comma, dash. But again, we are cheaters, uh, by we I mean humans are cheaters, we do know which of them are which. But how computer can distinguish them? Uh, from the computer's point of view, the text basically looks like this one. Uh, this might be Russian, French text, English text, uh, we don't care actually. Uh, during the previous season we have figured out uh, how to find token splitter and how to find special characters. So let me actually highlight them here. Uh, by, the, by the way, I will also call them technical characters just as synonym. So how by looking into these we can group the characters? Uh, we're actually going to tackle this question in the upcoming episodes, or chapters if you will, of our current season. But seeing the aim of our introduction video is to picture the overall, uh, overall process, let's say that we have some magic algorithm that is grouping characters onto two big groups. One that is used for splitting the text onto the characters and one that is used in order to split sentences into subparts. And actually such algorithm will be the one from the machine learning field. So yes, it uh, will be the really nice episode. Okay, uh, now let me actually mark here characters from the group one. Just to remind you, group one is the character that are used to segment the text, to split text uh, onto the sentences. Now let me mark characters from the group 2. Group 2 is the group of special characters that are used to split the sentences themselves into the subparts. Uh, could you actually tell which group is used for sentence splitting? As you probably already realize, split a uh, technical character onto two groups is not uh, only half the battle. Uh, it's uh, sorry. It's only actually a half a battle. You also need to figure out what each of the group is responsible for. Which of the group, group one or group two, is responsible for splitting sentence and which are not. Uh, this also could be really tricky. Again, we will see how it is done later during the season. For now, let's again assume that we have our super magic. Um, and we have this some way to determine the type of each of the groups. At this point, one, one might think, this is it. I do have groups of special characters. I do know which group is responsible for the text splitting, the magic is. Now I can actually split the text with a similar, like with a really simple regular expression. Well, um, this reminds me of this nice old comic from XKCD and I will give you just a brief moment to enjoy it. Okay. So the main point is, yes, you technically can use, indeed, simple regular expression and try to split text onto the sentence. However, what about the numerous cases when the characters from one of the group is used as the characters from other group? Let me show you some simple example. 
uh, if we're going to split the sentence, uh, sorry, the text, the sentence by all the characters, uh, we might end up with the next sentences list. Just uh, let me show it to you. Okay. Obviously, this is not what we wanted. Since some of the sentence, like a sentence with one character S, doesn't make any sense. This happens because uh, you clearly see we have USA uh, that has three dots, U dot, S dot, A dot, and each dot um, uh, has been analyzed as a sentence splitter. So our simple regular expression just thought that this is probably a sentence splitter, so let's split this. Um, so, okay. As a conclusion, I hope now you do see that we can just use simple regular expressions. We will need one more third magic that we'll again discuss later in the course. But, but, for now, as a conclusion, we can draw the full chain of actions that we should perform in order to segment the text. Number one. Extract all special characters from the text. This basically we had been doing in the season one, so please go back if you don't remember how to do it and just recall episodes from there. Second uh, step, we need to group special characters onto two groups. Third step, we need to find which group is used for the text segmentation and which one is used for splitting sex uh, sentences onto sub-sentences. And the fourth step, examine each case of the occurrence of the special characters from the group that actually segment the text and determine on per case basis if it is used to actually segment the text or not, like in case of USA or some other examples like this. So, this is it, my friends. Uh, thank you for being uh, so... Um, uh, so interested in the topic and uh, so patient, patient, I hope, yes, patient, uh, since we do already know how to do step one, as I mentioned before, we will see next time how to group special characters on the two groups. And as I mentioned earlier, this will be a part that we're actually starting using some machine learning stuff. So we we will have basically to run some of our first machine learning algorithm. And I'm really excited about it. So stay tuned, my friends, and wish you a good day. See you next time. Bye.